Greetings and welcome to session nine. Nine. That was that was everyone's like cue to get really just hyped and jazzed for session nine. Well, yeah, Dungeons the Dragons. Thank you, thank you very much. So, who remembers what happened two weeks ago? I nominate Nobody. Ollie. God damn it. <laughs> Do your best, Ovik. Hmm. Right, so uh started in a sewer with this big metal gate in front of me. A couple of goblins behind it. Uh, used my big, strong muscles to lift this gate up. No bother. Easy. And, Didn't uh, have help at all? No, definitely no not. help, no. And I uh, charged on after these, uh, these uh, goblins and they got what's coming to them. Um, managed to find our way through this, uh, through the sewers. A couple of weird dogs whimpering and looking a bit scared, scratching at a door. I uh, went through the door, pretty much bumped into the rest of our party that had um, diverged into a different path. And uh, a knoll that was gnawing at some goblin. So I just, I just let him be. Seemed pretty happy, and uh, that's when went down, round the corner, and we found our gnome. Well, a gnome. Not really sure what the difference between gnomes are, to be honest. But um, we managed to grab hmm. him, and we were on our way out when we noticed there was uh, these three human-looking bodies, uh, sort of unconscious or dead, against a wall. Uh, tried to pick one up, but like. It was weird. It was like some sort of illusion. I dread it. Like your hand sort of went slightly through it and picked up something else. So it was like a body underneath it, but wasn't really sure what it was. So decided to leave him there. Not not too fond of that kind of magic myself. So uh, we climbed out of the sewer and um, headed back to the caravan uh, place, taking this little gnome back to his shop. And uh, as we arrived at the caravan place, uh, we noticed a shimmering in the air. I think it was quite, it was quite foggy out as well. And uh, as we looked out towards the city gates, beyond there seemed to be some a goblin army um, with one figure looking at us, from what I can remember. Um, so we stared at it for a while, and then uh, this the was shadow that last being. Time? I was going to oh, say yeah. that was that that was that was, was two, two sessions hours? ago. Um, that, that what was, am I uh, think? Oh yeah, that was. Wasn't that, it? it happened, but that was like maybe two or three oh, ago. Did we do anything else after leaving the? We went inside. I gave everybody sweets, and yep. then a talk jar oh. turned up. Oh yeah, of course. My bad. Also, there was lots Damn. of interrogation from a. Uh, See, Alan, I wasn't the only one who forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate that it's on me to do these recaps. <laughs> yes, you, you brought it upon yourself. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's not on you, it's on your character. Yeah. Yeah, Olvik is Olvik's yeah. choice. Yeah. He's not got a good history not... score, okay? I should, I should roll history at the start of these just to see how good his memory is. How well really he tough. remembers. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, good apparently, idea. he remembers it pretty well. Um... God damn it. <laughs> he remembers it so well. I we remember totally what happened two that sessions ago. Session Pretty six, good. I think, was the um, zombies at the end. Really? Holy crap. Yeah. We could totally do, like, everyone rolls history and the person that remembers the most and the least tell their tale. Yes. Do you know what? I am down for that. I'm going to take a note of that so I don't forget. Sounds amazing. Sounds awful, personally. Yep, <laughs> love it. It's because like, you have a plus five <laughs> to history. <laughs> I actually have no idea what my history score is. Um... No, it's not that good. I have a minus one, so I don't know why I'm the one that's doing all the, all the recapping. You asked to. I know. I'm not sure we asked to. I know, it was fun. Until we skipped a week and then I can't remember what the hell was going on. <laughs> I really should have watched it or listened to it, but is it even up? Brilliant. So, yeah. I guess, unless anyone has anything else they want to say before we start, I'll take that as a no. No. Good. Uh, we fade back in with uh, 
obviously we had the footsteps coming down the stairs um, and then like the pan up to the the belly and then and into the face of Tokjar as he kind of comes down the stairs of the, the sort of um, station bar type hotel place uh, and he goes ah I thought I'd find you eventually and then continues to walk down the stairs um, and then are we all together? yes everyone is together I don't care if you said you weren't last time you are together <laughs> I think I'll just take an action. I was going to say. <laughs> After you. Thank you. Well, before, I'd quite like to take off my leather, leather armor, um, strip to my loincloth, and cast mage armor on myself, which I can do freely in the last eight hours. Um, okay, okay. Do you want to post that in the chat so we can. So how do I get that to change my armor class? My dex modifier is 2, so I get 15 AC. Will I just put that in myself manually? No. I no, because just, that will break note. everything, probably. Just just note that it's 15, or yeah. add a modifier onto your character sheet. That will literally do that. Um, but yes, um, I, well, while you're doing that, then I'm just going to say, uh, in reply to Talk Jar walking down the stairs, so I found you. I, like, I believe we did tell you where we were going. Uh, I think he would chuckle and go, <laughs> that you did? That uh, note definitely helped. Uh, he seems quite uh, cheery, um, kind of got like a very, very friendly, warm expression on his face, which is probably a bit um, different to to um, how you maybe have experienced his manner before. Um, and then he turns and walks over to the the sort of bar and, you know, starts to like order drinks. And I think he he looks over at the the group and ask like kind of gestures if uh, to ask if anyone wants anything. Or oh, just like puts his hand up. Also, has he been anything but cheery since like we've known him? I thought he was always pretty cheery. Yeah, but no, more like cheery. like if like before he was cheery as in like a putting on a confident, um. Aha, yes, I'm cheery, hey. Whereas now it's more like a relaxed, like, I am. Yeah, we all rolled our perception checks to see if he was actually being genuine with him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, if, if, like check? if you'd thought, like, before um, he was being cheery, like, this version of cheery makes you think that previously he was probably... Um, it, was, it was more of a facade than anything else. Ah, uh, he was... Yes, pre cheer story, age. I don't know. Never mind. Keep on going. <laughs> don't mind me. No, nope, no, nope. I will mind you all. <laughs> it is my job to mind. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry, you and you said something. Govok would just sort of put his hand up to note a uh, motion that he wants uh, a drink, and he will walk towards Tokjar as well. That's fine. And I guess I'll look at his back to see if there's any like visible hole or anything in his. Where it is clothes, or where the where the spear may have gone through him, or if there's any signs of that anymore? No, he's he's wearing what looks like kind of like kind of fresh clothes. Um, uh, okay. I, d I don't think you'd think that is particularly weird, as if uh, yeah. the majority of people had big, you know, spear shaped holes in their clothing, they might get it mended. Or it's like, not like they've, they've mended the clothes; it's they are <laughs> like brand new, like nice looking clothes. Um, Actively different or the exact same but brand new? Uh, they are different. Okay. So as I get to talk to her at the bar, I guess I'll say, how's your, um, just sort of like point in a circle motion at my, at my chest and be like, how's your hole? Um, and he kind of like prods at his own, own chest and goes, yeah, it's still a bit um, healing, uh, I shall say. And um, he, he like, Ask like kind of motions if you want to kind of like feel it as well. Um, I guess I'll just sort of try and prod it. Yeah, when you feel it, you can feel it is like there's like a section that's like notably kind of like scabbier feeling, um, mm. like very very cauterized. Um, it, it doesn't feel very nice. Um, I think maybe he absentmindedly scratches at it as well as he's like standing at the bar. He's holy. 
<laughs> he was. <laughs> And I think... Uh, uh, Set next to him at the bar. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sorry, Mangy, what were you going to say? I think I made an item in my inventory called Mage Armor, and I put plus 3 AC, because that takes me from 12 to 15. Cool. But I made it as a light armor. I don't know if that's right or not. I mean, does it have a weight? Uh, one. No. But, I mean, the actual Mage Armor doesn't. You can just delete the weight. Okay. I would probably do it the way I showed you, though, and get rid of the item. Right. I think it can be done later. Yeah, as long as you know. Yeah. It um, shows up on my thing now, so... Cool, cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I think... At that, I think um, Rob, Rob Powers kind of sidesteps from like the entrance of the thingy and kind of sits himself in like a corner table um Try the one we've got that's the, the one you've got that's the one you've got cool yeah, the one you spoke to also has a name but i've forgotten his name like who yeah, was max power the... he was the guy max power that was his fighting name in the right, okay, cool. uh, okay. in the, the the pits as it were cool but um, on the the contract, you know, as Rob. Cool. Yeah. Um, so we have a max power. We have a Rob power. Do we have like a take power and a got power as well? <laughs> Given power. That's what they should yeah. have been called. Um. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. Um, it was Todd Powers who was the oh. the the gnome then um, in Merchton. Cool. I should really make like a an NPC PDF for people to fill in, but hey, that seems like admin to me, and uh, that's that's a word that doesn't uh, <laughs> it doesn't agree with me. So yeah, um, Ovex sitting at the bar with um, Talkjar. Uh, what's what's everyone else up to? Well, if we're in a bar, I'm gonna be in a corner playing dragon chess. That's where. Uh... What I do. Nice. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, you just like go set up your your thingy and just wait for people to kind of show up, or do you like actively go out the way to to try and find someone interested to? Oh, I'm 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 just gonna set up with my fight and just just do me. Yeah, I think maybe maybe one or two people kind of like eye you up doing this and um maybe uh. uh like a small group of of people kind of walk up towards you and like ah, so you were uh, play the dragon chess, hey? Yes. <laughs> or or a slightly more gruff voice. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> got really excited. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Sorry, that happens sometimes. <laughs> I see. Uh, well, I'm uh, quite the dragon chess player myself. See. You care to uh care to go up to the challenge i wager myself uh a good uh two silver on on uh on beating your sorry ugly butt uh, just on a little account of administration here i don't actually have any silver i've got copper and i've got gold that's <laughs> fine you can, you, can, you, can, you can use okay, your gold that, as silver that's not that, a problem that 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 is wonderful okay uh, yeah, go for it, yeah. Yes, two silver. I, I will go all in there as well. Cool. Do you want to uh, do your dragon chessy roll thingy majugi? I cannot remember how to... Oh, yes, attribute strength. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, You're fuck. Not... Yeah, you can use strength. Uh, you, need to... <laughs> you should really be using, like, intelligence or wisdom or something like that oh uh, okay right well, well intelligence isn't really going to go well for me at all but uh, apparently neither is strength either so you're... well neither is strength <laughs> fucking not yeah neither went particularly well fucking uh, <laughs> cool right uh, i'll just i'll just roll uh oh it's a uh, it's a very close game and uh you you kind of match each other's moves um, 
and it, he like seems to have like the perfect counter for everything you do but he doesn't seem to be going on the offensive at all um and uh, it gets to a point where it's just a complete stalemate and you both kind of maybe stare at each other uh, in disbelief so <laughs> do we both just pick up just, just our two silver and just part yep. ways? <laughs> he just he just stands up and just like harumphs and walks away wonderful uh, what about Emu? I think Emu would um, walk up to the powers. And, um, I think I'll join them so it doesn't get out of hand. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Going by Emu's uh, negotiation tactics of late. So, Alexander got to write down the um, uh, additional negotiations that happened between Emu and Rod. So, um, the the original the original pre um, amendments were um, if any of the the caravan were injured or would die, there would be no payment at all. Apart from your your initial, um... I don't think I said injured. I think I said died. Died, yeah, Stuff. injured or died. Died. Okay, fine. Died. <laughs> Dying is a kind of injury. Yeah, it's a very fatal one. So very easy, easy, right? Like injuring <laughs> is so easy to do on a trip. It, yeah, no, but like um, like I like injured that would cause death. So like dying and then dying after the fact due due to injuries. Like even if they made it and thing, they're in the process of dying. Of dying, yeah. Um, but everybody's in, in the risk of dying just through the aging. Does that mean eventually <laughs> they come looking for our, our money again? <laughs> down the line? Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, rats! You've been reading my notes, haven't you? No, I just know time travel <laughs> very well. Um, We've but done no, this before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've walked this road before. No. I won't um, <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> um so yeah no but like um pre it was like if they died there would be no um payment and your mm was to be if we ran into goblins if we run into goblins that clause of the thingy is null and void because he verbally actually told you there's little to no chance of goblins showing up who are there was also hazard pay as well yes yes i i think it was it was the last time when Emu then met up with um, Rod. Then um, she negotiated a addendum to the the contract. I, I, I didn't write down what that was. Yeah, so it was the fact that um, his rescue was part of it as well. Oh yes, um, I forgot about that part. I do apologize. Yep. Yeah, I actually forgot all about that too. To be honest. Um, um, but yeah, there were additional addendums. So there was the initial thing from Todd. Then the like amendments that you put in with Todd, then meeting up with Rod. Ah, uh, yes, I think and... what um wasn't it that uh he was like right, okay, yeah, we'll do we'll do whatever. Can we just sort this? Can we discuss it once we're not here? I think was um, the... Emu definitely made sure that he got that she got his word of something. Um... Yeah, yeah, uh be like the one thing I didn't write down as well, isn't it? Oh, I'm really sorry I didn't write that down. That's definitely something I should have. In fairness, it's something it, I though. should have written down as well. Yes. Um. But we can, we can. The reason I'm really certain of it is because Emu would have killed him. Yes. Without getting so, uh, affirmation. Like that. That's it, right? That's yeah. it. We can just agree that it's pay and a half. Something like that, yeah. Rather than have to review it all and go back. Like you mean double? <laughs> I think that's quite much because we're already getting a, a thousand. Yeah, like yeah. I think I think a half seems more reasonable than double for hazard pay, right? Yeah. Um, I'm just always so trying, always got to try and push the limits with Callum. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> like I had the the uh, the signed thing saying that there would be unlikely to be goblins uh -huh. so from that Todd. another part of it the fact that we definitely fought goblins as part of it and then had to rescue him that 
that's why we, we yeah we've really went above and beyond and uh, perhaps then uh, if the the actual contract was pay and a half and then we received a separate reward of like i don't know 200 gold for rescuing him yeah. or uh, like something like that let's hear from the gm What's your plan? My plan is not that. <laughs> <laughs> um, because there was there was no negotiation for extra money if you ran into goblins, right? Well, Hazard, you know, yes. yes. Not the original agreement. No. The amendment oh, for sure that was. part... No, the, no. Um, the no, amendment for it, that part was with Rob in the sewers. For like, well, and we want extra for sorting this out, for going out of our way and stuff like that. Yeah, wasn't the amendment that like in the contract it stipulated that if there was like a, a conflict and someone was injured, that you wouldn't we'd get lose a reduction money? in no, you wouldn't get yeah. See, you wouldn't get a, like what the the thing was, you wouldn't get paid if any yeah. of them got thingied, and then the amendment was. It was we'll still get paid, um, yeah. and whether or not that was going to be at a percentage per death or something like that. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. But also, that's kind of uh, moot anyway, because nobody died, um, yeah. which is good. Go team! Yeah, so it was just the amendment to do with us going to the extra effort of getting him out of the series. Yeah, so any extra money is to be discussed with um, Rob. Yeah. Guaranteed that there would be extra money. There would be. I don't think there was a number actually like stated in the oh, series, we can, we but can I could be wrong. I mean, just discussing money with a person called Rob, I don't I don't know, man. It feels kinda dodgy to me, but um, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm happy if that's the DM decision. Yeah. Sorry, so I, I say I, I say yeah I think what what happened and I, I will go back and review it but for for now and for all time now because <laughs> that that's how happened. it works um <laughs> yeah so any it was he you got his word that there would be extra pay and we should discuss it when we're not in the sewers because fuck that there's shit here and it's not nice mm -hmm. literal shit well, yes. Yeah. It's the sewer. I have the matter of acquiring some robes so that I'm not naked. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. <laughs> so Are did you did inside? you just kind of like strip um strip off in the middle of the, the, the tavern and you go, ah, oh, there's that guy, quickly, close off. Armor, yes. Yeah. Um eventually Tokshar appeared and I got nude for him. And cast a spell on myself. I think maybe his eyebrows raised at that as he was walking down the stairs, but he didn't acknowledge it. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Right. Bless you. <laughs> um, if we're all in this tavern, I would probably slowly bring out my instrument made out of sheep intestine and small flutes, which is also known as a bagpipe. Um, and... Um, Peter is quite shy, so he'd probably look around for approval from the people around him, see if there's right. anyone that literally walks up to him and says, oh, can you play? Like, kind of like a kid would do, just like, mm, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. But I, would, I wouldn't do that, but I'd definitely walk up to you, and I'd take out my bagpipes. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, I think of that on, like, um, on... Yeah, so <laughs> on when Peter pulls out his his bagpipes, I think you get like a a few um people kind of just like looking at you, like intrigued. And then when the almost nude oh. Tabaxi pulls out their bagpipes, <laughs> uh, and maybe from maybe... where might I add? By the way, <laughs> don't, don't want holding. The, the bagpipes <laughs> of holding. <laughs> okay, um, of course. Maybe I don't know. Do you do you kind of give each other kind of like a knowing look, like "aha, musicians"? Depends mm -hmm. on whether it's in his character, but I would definitely do that. 
I'd be more like kind of like smiling, kind of like, ah! and they go, hey, yeah, go for it. And then I do my best. Cool. And <clears throat> you both want to do performance? Sure. Can I use my inspiration? You certainly can. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> I have plus seven in performance. <laughs> 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 you beat <Okay>. me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So maybe maybe you kind of walk over to the maybe like the corner where there's a slightly elevated area, you know, where the the bands who play usually usually situate themselves. And uh, can I do like yeah, wait? I could. I took some uh, cantrips for could. this moment, especially that I'd like to cast. Um. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> okay. Dramaturgy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so, those two. Right, okay, Mage Hand. Oh, jeez. I'd like to spawn a big dancing hand that is doing druid craft and just, you know, falling snowflakes for snow and all that stuff. You know, pretty things. As I see I that. I will cast. Oh my god! This. <laughs> the... What the fuck is going on now? <laughs> okay. Right. Let's, it's a right. bag bag disco. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's break this down. So I think what happens is, maybe um, my, uh, Gorm looks over at Peter, and they both kind of like, Gorm kind of nods, and you know, um, Peter. Are we really doing cast. this? <laughs> And Peter gives that sort of like awkward laugh and then Gorm leads the way to the stage and starts like, you know, tunes up quickly and then starts playing like a, you know, quite a, a just a, like a jolly little um, jiggy type thing. And then as that happens, uh, Peter starts uh, just shredding over the top of whatever you're doing. And it's the, 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 the like the harmonies and the, the harmonic series between you are just, oh, creating all this thing. And then people kind of look over and see all these like sparkling lights and these snowflakes coming and they're unsure if like they have seen this like if they're seeing this or if it's just the music inspiring these visions of awe dancing in front of them <laughs> um and you know uh as that goes on um do, do some people start to dance in this oh yeah you definitely cabin. get like um you know, maybe like the, the like the old couple who come in for their like yeah their their meal like every day, get up and start you know um you know hooked arms spinning in circles and just laughing and you know the old man's like I feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> then his back goes and he's like, oh never mind. Congratulations, you've killed a man. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't he doesn't see the mage hand and trips over it and uh, oh god. <laughs> Just dies. Elder blast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and you get loads of people just clapping along. Um, in the in the sane world, uh, I think we maybe pan over with um, uh, you know, talk jars. Not he doesn't seem to be like paying any attention to the music or whatever. Um, I think he orders uh, he orders his drink and then whatever Ovek wanted. Deja vu. I think the usual keg would do. Yeah. Um I think when when he when you you order the keg he kind of sighs a little bit. And um yeah, and that that all gets brought up and he just looks at you and smiles and goes, um How are you enjoying this? You mean the town or the entertainment behind us? I think he kind of looks over at the 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 lights and bagpipes yeah. and and just almost rave that's going on in the the corner yeah. and um he just sighs and goes hmm you'd be hard pressed to enjoy the entertainment but uh pampai how is it and he like takes like a big swig of his uh his ale. Since we got here, I've not had a, a lot of time to browse the streets. There's been some incidents that had to be taken care of. He looks up from his drink and goes, Incidents? 
Interesting. And then he like swivels in his chair, um, in his stool. Uh, the stool doesn't swivel, he just swivels in it uh, and looks over at the music and just starts clapping along um, with a kind of, um, maybe like, like a simpler expression on his face um, and kind of half laughing to himself. So the uh, place is vibing. The place is vibing. Um, this oh, yeah. this music, uh, Dig Dog Leo, has basically turned off anyone who wishes to, uh, who showed any interest in playing you at Dragon Chess. Good. I have plans. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll come back to your plans. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> Emu, you, you sit down. Um, do you sit down across from uh, Rob, or...? I think so. Yeah, cool. And uh, Tilda, you said you kind of sat down with them. Yeah, whereabouts were they in relation to everybody else? So, if... Um, if we're standing at the door looking in, the bar's right in front of you. Uh, we say, like, the leftmost corner, um, right from the door, is where uh, Rob Powers is. Um, obviously, the leftmost Ovec. corner right from the door. Like, as in, like, immediate from the door. Okay. <laughs> as opposed to the, the direction, yeah. Uh, to the right is where the the kind of raised platform the music's coming from, and the dragon chest is down in the the back right corner. Okay, cool. Obviously, Ovec yeah, and um, Tokjar are at the bar. Yeah, I think it, it, just in case it comes up, Ovec will have turned around and be facing the rest of the bar and just notice this interaction in the corner of his eye and just keep an eye on it. Uh, is that um, Emu Tildes and uh, yeah. yeah? Okay, that's fine. I think I'll just sit either like. I don't know. If it's like a intimidation y thing, I'll sit next to Emu across from Rob. But if Emu sits next to him, I'll sit at the other side of him, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, just, I want to position it in a way that he feels some level of pressure to the conversation. But uh -huh. I don't need it to be really uncomfortable, if that makes sense. I just want it to be ever so slightly uncomfortable for him. You're you definitely not yes. completely cornered, but you there you're you're right numbered and right matched and this is yeah. definitely not a fart in the elevator. No. Yeah. No. So yeah, you were saying Alexander? Yeah, yeah Emu and um Tilda would be across from Cool. There you go. Yep, I uh, I think he kind of um looks up again, not really making eye contact, uh um, kind of at, at like between the two of you, and uh, he he seems he seems quite nervous, oddly enough. Um, Emu would just um, like fold her arms across her chest and just stare straight into his eyes. I think that maybe if he's like kind of looking like between uh, you and Tilda, and then as soon as you start staring, his eyes kind of like lock on and almost kind of. Like at that point, where it's like you've you've kind of looked in too long, and now he can't look away, uh, and he I think it, it's visible. Um, maybe Tilda, you see it's visible that he's kind of almost stunned by the uh, emu stare. Could I? I don't know if I can right now, but I'll definitely do it later anyway. Could I like roll an insight maybe to see? If he feels as strong as we thought he felt before, like, have we closed the gap in any way by leveling up? Um, do you mean Tokjar or Tokjar? Yeah. Like, um... is he still like a very towering presence in terms of what we believe his strength is, despite us increasing in strength? Uh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Go Just for it. an insight. Should I roll at disadvantage? Because I'm probably like busy. Uh, yes, by all means. I'm never, I'm never going to tell <laughs> you that you can't roll with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, I think y you don't really feel either way about it. You don't. Um. Like you can, you can. I think maybe at that point you like that's as he turns around, and that maybe that's what catches your eye, and he's kind of clapping, looking a bit, um, a bit silly, and you know, has, kind has of taking really the piss. Has he done anything that would give us the impression that he is 
that we are closer to his strength level, or is it just more perception of our own strength compared to what we saw earlier from him? Well, Pro- what I meant was like, oh, carry on, sorry. What I meant was like, you know, when you just look at someone and you think, oh, I could take him, or that person would beat the shit yeah. into me if he wanted to, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the 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 only difference you really see between what you mentally see Tokjar as power wise is that he just looks like it's Tokjar who's decided to take like uh you know a day off and like put on his dancing shoes and <laughs> go to the pub you know um there's there's no real like difference in like power that you see or anything like that um. I don't think you feel either way as to whether or not you could take him. So, yes, uh, back to Rob Powers. And Emu and Tilda. Um, I don't think Rob says anything. He's just, he's just kind of like stuck in that. Um, kind of just anticipating what weird terms you're going to come up with and how he's... Um... Wow. Can uh, uh, Cinder, Cinder do you want yeah, to please. mute um, until you plug your microphone back in, I guess? <laughs> Finish microwaving? Yes. <laughs> uh, I literally, I don't know what's going on. No, um, no you just made like a, a, a noise that sounded like your microphone wasn't plugged in properly or something like that. Um, yeah, so he, he kind of looks like he's... Um, Yeah, kind of like rapidly trying to think in his head, like what, what, what am I going to do or say? Like I don't know what I'm going to to be faced with, and how am I going to deal with that kind of expression? If that was an expression, that's the expression he has. Right. He just continues to stare. Okay. Um. If. <laughs> I think I'll just smile pleasantly at him, you know, unnervingly. Yeah. Right. I think maybe at that then, um, if maybe if that passes for like a good minute to him probably feeling like, you know, 20, I think he would kind of maybe like look down and then look back up at Tilda, see Tilda smiling um, and probably be more unnerved by that than uh, the stare, to be honest. And then just, um, I think in a sort of like shaky voice and he would just say so your um, terms for freedom I'll just smile at him and then turn to Emu and say I believe you've had somewhat of a negotiation to complete upon your safe recovery and then just look back at him and smile and Emu would just like cock her um, head to the side slightly. Shotgun. <laughs> Sorry, was there an end to, to that, um, Alexander? I would just continue staring after, like, giving a giving side eye. Oh, okay. Um. So, uh, what, what, what is it that you would um <clears throat> ask for um being so uh, gracious and and um and uh, magnificent back in the the the, the, the sewers uh, where I was, and I think he would just kind of like trail off. Um, kind of, I think, more hopeful for a response than anything else. I think I'm lagging. No, I think I'm just going to keep smiling. Cool. I assume, Mimi, you keep staring? Yep. Um, I think... You know, maybe maybe like a few songs have gone past now, 
as well um from the from the the performing I don't even know what to call them the performing numpties and um could I strap a oh God. drumstick to my foot and start banging on a drum as well at the same time uh yeah like a one man band kind of thing go for it uh, have you got a drum is the question yeah yes i do have a drum okay um i, I think i or at least i have a proficiency with a drum <laughs> it's not quite the same as having a that drum is true that is true um do you know what uh sure there, there can be a like maybe there's like a wooden crate and um, nice I it's just on the stage. Feel. You can you can attach like a drumstick to your foot. Nice. Um, do you want to give me another performance check though? Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah, you do this like seamlessly. <laughs> like you're still playing. Like you you maybe you've just like come out of this like rad bagpipe solo, and you've just like given Gorm the nod to like sh rip into there, um, their like half of the solo. While he does that, you like you pull out this like big droning cord and like tape this, um, or maybe tie on this this drumstick to your foot. Maybe you have like a slot in your boot already made for for events like this. Yes, um, I have come prepared. Um, just a DM or a game question, more like it. When you do, you add proficiency to these as well. Uh, if you're proficient in it, it it'll automatically when... add it for you. So if okay. you see if you hover over the the actual the number the twenty two. It will show yeah. you the maths that's been done. There's no way you get a plus seven without proficiency. Just yeah, <laughs> that is true. Um. So yeah, and you start like banging on the drum, and then you know everyone just erupts in like applause, apart from Tokjar, uh, and obviously I can't speak for Ovik. Um. <laughs> uh, what about if you play an instrument that you're not proficient in? What do you do then? How do you roll that? Um. I, I would still make you roll a performance check. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Maybe at disadvantage. Who knows? Um, okay, okay. So yeah. Um. Maybe like as maybe as that happens, like you you kind of hear like the 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 crowd sort of go like, "Whoa! Ah, amazing!" Um. I think uh, Rob Powers would kind of just clear his throat and go, <clears throat> "Uh, I could, we could um I could uh I could just do you want me to." Um, uh, a hundred, the two, two, two hundred, uh, and I think he keeps like two, two twenty-five, two, two fifty, and like in between, waiting for, for sort of responses. Um, from either Tilda or um Emu, or quite frankly, the people like sitting like across the hall, uh, across the the room. He's just waiting for like somebody to. To go, Not. it's okay. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, that'll do, please. Yeah, um, I'm just going to keep smiling, just really passively. Emu's going to bring out her severed goblin hand and just place it on the table. I think I'll just, look, I'll just look down at it, like, and then kind of look up at him, like, as if, mm -hmm. but still smiling. Um, while Emu never breaks eye contact as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> um I think I think um Rob kind of I think as you pull it out, um do you sort of like slam it down or do you put it gently onto the, the table? Um I mean, obviously they don't want to damage it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um <laughs> I think he just stares <laughs> at it for a while um and goes um, I mean five um uh, we could we could just we could uh, we could see what's in the safe i mean i'm i'm not i'm not um I'm not gonna you know don't wanna don't wanna stand in the way of you fine and you'd like look around the bar folks you know um i'm sure i'm sure you can just you could just have do you want my do you want my business i mean do you want do you want do you want uh do you want my um do you want my assistant's organs i mean i i just alexander hold out we'll get a moon 
<laughs> Do you want one of the unobservable moons that may or may not Trump exist? The city of Reinstead. <laughs> Do you want Barrows? <laughs> I hear they've got some nice dragon eggs. I don't want to copyright to that, I'm afraid, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Back fine. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, you'd have to. You'd, Tilda doesn't know that. I know that. <laughs> like, Tilda just screams at the sky. You don't own that. <laughs> oh dear. That's infringement. But yeah, I think we're just um, just still just waiting to see at what point. I mean, I don't know. I'm waiting for Emu to lead this because this is kind of Emu's thing. Yeah. I'm happy to like lean in to uh, anything that needs done, but most I'm just there to be like the pleasant face to look at, you know. Yeah, and I think uh, like notably, um, he's definitely looking more at Tilda like each, like time, like maybe every time he looks at Emu, it's like a quick glance to try and av- avoid that penetrating stare. I imagine there's probably more to glean from Emu's face than Tilda's, though, in terms of like it's probably uncomfortable staring at her after a while because like why are you still smiling when this yeah. is really uncomfortable? Like you know? I think I think it's it's kind of like he switches between the two of you for respite from the other. <laughs> Um. Um. When he says five hundred, um, Emu will respond in Gnomish and say five hundred each. I think at that maybe his eyes go wide and he counts like everyone that he's seen so far, um, oh. including Peter. Um, and he did, like, you know, obviously... Can I just doesn't... ask, do you specify, uh, like, Emu, do you specify no. like, our specific party or just the entire room? <laughs> I feel like that would undermine the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it okay. very small and simple. Um, Yeah, no, he, he kind of looks around and, like, you know, counts, like, does, like, a head count and, you know... Um, size. I'll take Tok Jar's cut. <laughs> and um, he 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 looks up and goes, uh, "I I don't. I'm not. Um, I'm not sure. I have that much. Um, uh, we can we can we can go. We, uh, I can go to the." The, the shop and check I mean I'm, I'm not I, I could be mis- mistaken I mean I, I, I hope I'm mistaken you and it's continuing in Nomish you will distribute what you have to my companions and the rest will be in form of uh, ind- uh, indentured bond and I think um, at that he, he kind of like almost as if like a fog lifts from from his eyes. Um, fog's probably a bad word when we're in Pampay, but Pampai. But um, he, I think he kind of just like snaps back like really quickly. Like now, uh, I'm very grateful for what you've done, but however, I think I'm being unfairly glad treated like this this is this is ridiculous like i can give you a re- like i'll happily give you a reward but this is just this is just too much you're 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 expecting the world of me I... is he saying common or gnomish gnomish he's like he's like just spouting out a gnomish now um because like you know that's how he can talk fast and emotively then i guess Emu's fist, Emu's hand would curl into a fist, like on the table. Um, would I notice that? I think you, what you would, what you would see. I don't think you can hear over the no, the in, in, in crazy performance that's going on. Um, uh, I think what you see is definitely like maybe you see like the the the, the goblin hand being put on the table. And you know, um, Rob being sort of really awkward, and then Emu finally kind of saying something, and then uh, the the gnome getting very kind of flustered, agitated, and flustered, looking, and just 
but I'm gesticulating more, you know. Um, mm-hmm. When I notice Emu's fist clenching. Uh, unless Emu's actively trying to hide the fact that he's curled his fist. If you're keeping an eye on it, I don't see why not. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess that's up to Emu. I think my whole attention would be on that. <laughs> one. You. No, I'd be very obvious. Emu would be very obvious. To you. Yeah. Um, I suppose okay. so that it doesn't get misinterpreted by the, the gnome, I guess. <laughs> the gnome doesn't notice, like, ah! I think my whole attention would be on that table, and I would basically sort of slowly take one of my warhammers and just sort of hold it, sort of like lazily in my hand down at the floor. Like, not looking like I'm wielding it, but just having it in hand. Okay. Right. Um. Yes, Dig Doglio. Or no Dick Doglio. Nothing. Hello, Dick Doglio. Goodbye. Oh, ah, that's not a good thing. Speaker? Ah, yes. Okay, let Can me know also... when that is fixed. Weren't someone playing chess? That was Dick Doglio, yes. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm just waiting for that because I've got something up my sleeve. Oh. So what's that? I think stop playing chess, right? I was gonna say, what's yeah, the? Yeah, playing um, again. Right? Rob just now, based on what Ovex has been doing. Um, I I think uh while while he's spiting off, um he's his attention solely focused on Emu, um and then as Emu's kind of fist curls, I think he like I'm puts his hand puts his hand um flat on the table and sits himself down. Um, and I think he just says, right. "We right, should we... Uh, discuss this in my office." <sighs> and I think he pulls out like a, a napkin, and dabs his brow. Is there uh, an issue with discussing it here? I mean, uh, I have all my documents and uh, actual. Everything is in the safe and in, in my 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 office. I mean, then by all means, lead the way. And I gesture to vaguely wherever he looked when you said office. Yeah. Um. And he just uh. I think he slowly stands up. Um. And like just heads starts walking kind of slowly towards the door. Um, would they walk past me, or would Tilda be able to notice me? Which door? Sorry. Uh. The the door you came in. So. Um. Isn't his office in this building? No, his office is in the other bill. So if the right, hold on. So both. So that's tavern, right? The the sort of station bar type thing. Uh, did I do that on the map layer? I did. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't know. I mean, I can, we see, can it. see it. That's fine. Yeah. You can see it. So the um, so that's like the station part, and then the the actual like office plus the stable. Why did that not? Thing there we go. The office plus the stable part is there, where you met the 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 the, the boy that you traumatized. Sure. Emu. Did. <laughs> well, luckily I'm already there. Apparently. So, <laughs> <laughs> like if they if they walk in a way that Tilda would be able, I'd be able to catch Tilda's eye. Um. Yeah. Oh. No. Because like the uh, as I said, the bar is like right in front of the the door, so they would like stand up and kind of like walk into the middle, and um, probably. Well, yeah, if, if we're leaving, I think I'll just announce we will be next door. If that's a yeah, if I know where that is, yeah. I'd I just try and do to... like a motion to see if they want me to come come with. Oh my! I don't know. Do you want me to roll insight to see if I work out what that means? Because how does that? Uh... Yeah, I guess I just um... point myself and then point at the door and. Well, right, I mean that's that's pretty that... obvious then. Yeah, okay, you don't need to roll for that. that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like if it's that uh, easy to understand. Yeah, I think. I think I'll just do the tilde sign with my hand. You know, we kind of shake your hand side to side because that's what the tilde means. Yeah, shake it so to sound like, mm. as in the implication is I don't know, right? I don't think so. Like, I've got emu, right? But 
Okay. I guess I'll just sort of point at myself and point at the floor. Say, I'm going to stay here. Or this smile. I I smile. Righty. Now we're uh, fixed. I guess we, I guess we follow. Yeah, cool. So. Um, uh, just before we thingy there, Dick Dogdale, were you going to say something before your mic I, barked I, out? Well, before, before the microphone stopped being <laughs> the microphone. Um, right, is the two-man bagpipe show still going on and everyone's still highly distracted? Uh, yes. Oh, God. Right, can I please walk uh, the steps no. to see if I see any wealthy people? Um, do you know what? Yes, there are wealthy people. Ah, ah, what are, they, are, you, are you telling me? I am telling you there are wealthy people here. There are quite, there's a few, um, like, well-to-do looking people. Right. I would like to... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my uh, dark common clothes. I would like to go stealthy boy and try and steal some precious looking objects. Okie dokie. <clears throat> can I please use inspiration? To... <laughs> yes, you, can, you, you don't have to ask. You can say. You can you, yes. you use your inspiration for whatever you want to use your inspiration for. Okay, fair enough. I don't exactly understand how inspiration works. However, I'm going to uncheck that box and click on advantage. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, that's exactly uh, what we want you to do. Oh. Okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, let me just... So sneaky. Cool. Um, do you wish to roll um, your, I guess, sleight of hand for stealing stuff? I can't oh, remember yeah. if there's a thievery thing. So a Would this be uh, crawling against the passive perception? This will be against uh, whatever I say it's against. Um <laughs> have discretion. All right, so hand. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, this is what your inspiration should have been. Uh... Well, we know where your inspiration should have been spent. Yeah. Well. Um. So yeah. Okay. So this is what the, the, this is how this 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 works out. Um. So, so... Can I just can I just point it out before we go any further, right? His stealth was that good that I would argue, if I was the rogue, that the sleight of hand should have got inspired like uh, advantage. Advantage. Because of how, sure. how well. Do you know what? Just sure. FYI, it's arguable, right? It is arguable. That's a good argument. I will allow it. Well, Go on. I mean, roll again. Well, roll Counter argument. Again. Counter argument. I on. want to see mayhem. He I is stealthy wait. walking up, but then he literally pokes his butt because oh, he's like he, missing the he pocket. Might roll you know? one again. It doesn't matter how stealthy you are if you can't fucking pick someone's pocket properly. Like well, he doesn't like... notice him coming up, but actually get into the pocket is the most clumsy thing you've ever seen in your okay, life. Okay, right. What I'll do is really these are two, two. These are two very good points. I want Digdoglio to argue his case for rolling again, okay. and then we'll see. See okay, where well, I stand. I can't argue for shit, but my case for rolling again is, I've not really done all too good on my whole stealthy, steely stuff, and part of my whole personality traits and character RP stuff is that I am a thief and my bond is I will become the greatest thief that ever lived. And I've not really done much in the way of that. I've just been a bit of a ruthless killer. So I sort of like to flesh out my character arc in that sense. Okay, so two things. <clears throat> Can I counter my counter argument? <laughs> oh Christ, no. here we go. Hold on, wait, two things, two things. <laughs> wait, two wait. things before we spend the next three hours arguing about yeah, yeah. this. Um, uh, my, my, my counter to that would be surely failing is progress even if it is negative progress towards your your um your like bonds and your your like character traits and stuff um on the uh oh, i forgot what the other thing was because i was distracted by by <laughs> how ridiculous this argument. is um yeah. and oh yeah my other point was if you wanted to be a thief why didn't you build a rogue <laughs> Not all, not all thieves have to be good at like sneak attack damage. Just FYI, like you can be sneaky in a thief as well as being like a sorcerer. A, a I mean, this is true, but also <laughs> like, you are like, a barbarian like, with like. like he's really... not rich. He's just a person at the moment. <laughs> well, I'm just yes. a man, or like. But yes, no. Um. So the argument I... would be: Why would have? Why would we all have stealth and sleight of hand if we're not rogues then? Yeah, right? but I mean, I feel like you could always. Maybe assess. he's a different kind of thief. He's like an insurance fraud kind of thief. I feel like we should let him be his. Character. I was, 
Yeah, but I was going to say, I was going to say, I think I'm going to leave it up to you, Dig Dog Leo. If you want to roll again, you can. Um, if you prefer to see the implications of what happens if it doesn't go well, you can do that too. I, I am leaving this up to you. So can I just, I'll point out why I would, I just like, here's why I think of that is, you can do a slight hand to steal from someone's pocket anyway, right? And that would be you getting away with it if you're old well. The stealth would be for some advantage, right? That would be the argument. Yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. So, yeah. but I'm, I'm know. as I said, I'm leaving. It's, it's your choice, Dig Dog. Roll. Oh, yeah, right. I'm gonna roll again, but I'm gonna roll with disadvantage to make it. No, that's, that's, that's a stupid idea. No, just roll <laughs> again. The whole point. I, fuck it. I'm right, gonna roll give you it. Bardic inspiration. No, <laughs> oh, Bardic. Oh, wonderful. No, that, that, that was stealth. You need to roll slight that hand. Stealth. Your stealth oh, is fine. Don't worry about your stealth. <laughs> oh my okay, God. no, okay, okay. <sighs> I did I like say that. I was giving him bardic, bardic inspiration because I could see him sneaking up towards people. Um, Doesn't that work in ability checks? How, how do you see him sneaking up with a 23? That's, that's, that's what I was just about to say. Fuck. What's but I mean, passive? I doubt your passive is 23. <laughs> I'd be impressed, I'll be honest, hands up. I'd be impressed, and then I'd be tell, tell you to build your character again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can, I, can I ping my passive perception? Uh, no. I mean, Cam, to be I fair, you it. didn't really answer when he asked if it was passive. You just said it'll be whatever I wanted to be, but then he never specified what it would be. <laughs> no, that was just me being bitchy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and play the game. <laughs> I mean, he could have the observant trait. I mean, he could, but does he? <laughs> I hope so now. No. Uh -huh. um, but no. <laughs> uh, also, um, inspiration doesn't stack. And the whole uh, point of rolling so twice is the fact no, that he would be... Inspiration is a different thing. Oh, is it? Sorry. Oh, it gives you plus something, doesn't it? Yeah. But um, if I can't see him, so... then... My passive perception is, however, 17. So it is quite high. That's pretty good, yeah. That's that is pretty good. good. I don't know um, how it's that high, but it is. Because you're a bard and you're OP, that's why. Yeah, um, probably. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want to to perceive the, him and roll a perception to to see if you can see him stealthing, this like, would this be a disadvantage because like he's this. also performing? Yes, this would be a disadvantage <laughs> because he's also performing. Actually, and you're performing your heart out. I am performing my heart out. That is very right. true. Let's see. Control two twenties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck, man? So no, you do not see him. And, okay. <laughs> so what I shall do? What's the lowest passive perception on like a civilian? One. <laughs> it's so, a blind old man. He's just got perception of zero. <laughs> No, because if he's not deaf or like tasteless or touchless, you know, he's still got perceptions. What happens? Oh, that's true. So you you kind of like let's go blind sight. Um, Sorry. you kind of start start like um, you kind of step away from your chair, uh, from your dragon chest uh, set, right? Um, but yes. you do in such a way that you still you're still like holding the seating position, so you kind of just like move off the side of your chair and then you turn around. And okay. you you start you you see you you spot an affu affluent person kind of, um maybe talking to some some other like a group of people you know flaunting how rich they are. Oh okay. yes, mother buys me everything. <sighs> Did I mention that we're wealthy? Yeah, and he um you know, like you know polishing like little like brooches on his on his um on his shirt to kind of like show off and impress the. The gents and gentle ladies who are in his company, and uh, you kind of just walk past them idly, and you you seem to be like you kind of just morph into part of the group, um, okay. and nobody seems to acknowledge the fact that you've you've shown up. May actually, some people have even start like including you in conversation as if you were there the whole time. Um, and as as the uh, he's still sitting weird. He's still in his sitting position. Yes, no. <laughs> Uh, maybe he kind of like tiptoed in his sitting position over to the bar and then stood up um, with the sound effects included there. Um, and yeah, he he drops like his brooch and he bends down to pick it up. And as he bends down, you 
kind of grab like what looks like a coin purse off him. Nobody notices it. Uh, and yep, that's that's it. I don't know what you want to do with it, but um, is there anything inside of it? <laughs> uh, do you want to check? I'd, I'd, I'd like to know what, what sort of coinage we're dealing with here. Yep, so you open it, it feels quite heavy. Okay, okay. Uh, and when you when you open it, this uh, this little bug flies out and flies away. And the bag is empty. Ah. <laughs> All right. Is the bag still heavy? The bag is still heavy, yes. Okay. Well, if it's heavy, I'm going to keep it. That is fine. <laughs> Um, add add that to your inventory. It weighs um two. Whatever two weight is. Heavy pounds. pounds. Thank you. Two. I'm now going to use it as a decoy in case I ever get mugged. It's almost ah. as if. It's almost as if that's exactly what this person did. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, so enough of that now. Let someone else do something. Um, Gorm and uh, Gorm and Peter. Oh, you can't kind of come to the end of this like epic tune that you've been playing. Um, and uh, you know you get like thunderous applause from the the crowd. I think maybe that's like the same moment that uh, Dig Dogley opens the pouch. Um. Maybe the bug sort of flies past Ovik. Um, and Tok Jar kind of claps as well. Um, Ovik, as he's kind of sitting next to you, and he just um, kind of stands up and goes, I've never been one for art. Uh, and he starts to, like, just head um, out the front door. Who's this, Tok Jar? Sorry, Tok Jar, yes. On the scale of 1 to 20, does Ovik notice how strong his clap seems? If it was, say, an ability score. <laughs> Under clap. <laughs> uh, does, does, I, I mean, uh, if Ovik wants to roll... Uh... Bottles sure. start smashing behind the bar. <laughs> what am I rolling? I'm sorry. Yeah. Perception. Right. Perception. 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 Uh, Christ. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Clap good, strong, bad. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's that. I think as he as he stands up and starts to walk out, I can't stand up and say, "Yeah, me neither." Um, would you like some company? Yeah, two's company, and he just leaves. I'll follow him. Cool. Um, it Tilda, uh, not Tilda. Sorry, Gorm and Peter. Do you um, like as you see like these people leave um, the the crowd have sort of like died down a bit and they've started going back to their own business. Um, what is, what are you, uh, intending? Um, I'll probably give him a high five and go. Um, that was um, really good. Uh, we should uh, probably do it uh, uh, again sometime. Maybe if you'd like that. That yeah, I had a lot of fun. I uh, look over at you. I raise my hand for a high five. Oh and... God, he's got a too slow me, isn't he? God damn it. He's going for it. <laughs> As uh, you, you look me in the eye, my face becomes your face. And you become very confused. And I high five my own hand. <laughs> and go too slow. <laughs> um, okie dokie. Uh, do do you both want to just um, uh, I guess uh, I don't know, just give me like a, a do you want a deck save against um, against his uh high five, Mangy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. That's freaky. Do I have to roll anything? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that's probably good enough. It's fine. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Maybe against what your spellcasting modifier. If you're if spellcasting modifier. Spellcasting modifier. <laughs> yep. Holy shit. Can I do that? Um, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Yeah you, yeah, you can do that. Um, 
uh, and maybe he kind of stepped down from the stage and Dig Dogley was kind of standing there um, as he kind of clips the 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 quote unquote fake coin purse to his to his belt. <laughs> My proudest possession. <laughs> Back to Tilda and Emu. He leads you into the office office part of his like the the reception thing, and you see the, the the boy who's standing there. Uh, and there seems to be like some noise coming from out the back, um, like storage part of the the thingy. And he like Wait, maybe turns why is around. The boy here? Huh? Why is the boy here? Didn't he leave? Yeah, he's he's, he's back inside. And he's um he turns around and goes, oh oh um, I uh m- oh m- Mr. Mr. Powers, I was uh, I wasn't expecting to um to to see see you. Um, sir. And oh, ah, uh, hi, 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 ma, hi, ma'am, ma'ams, uh, ma- 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 madams. Um, and then you you hear like in the background, uh, like a maybe like something falling and somebody cursing under their breath, or I say under their breath quite loudly. <laughs> and he what maybe state like of, um, dress is he in? Is he in a state of undress, perhaps red in the cheek? Um, he's. But he's definitely he looks um he looks very flustered and flushed and um but he's he he like uh, if you if you looked at him um hang on let, let rewind brain sorry <laughs> he looks very flustered and flushed does he have clothes on he does have clothes on this is what I was getting to he so, is yeah. in sort of like leather um e type like traveling garb if you if you will whereas before well, see, he was in in, that, okay cool so it is different to before yeah so he was like he was in like kind of you know like just like a cotton shirt and pants you know Emu, um, this might be the extract aspects moment you've been waiting for um fyi but i think i'll just say could perhaps you and whoever you have back there just find revelry next door please and um, just point through the wall uh, by, 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 by all means and uh, he just he kind of like bows um, and just kind of hastily I think he, he does that thing where he walks backwards through the door and then closes the door and and um, you hear like you know again you know sort of like shuffling of items and stuff and things wait as in did he not leave and go to where the inn is nope he went to the back and closed the door uh, like as as he's walking backwards, I'll point to the door we came in the, that way. Uh, I think he he just nods and goes, "Oh, right, yes," and does he, he goes back and closes the door. And so he still walks. Back he still in. walks backwards to to the door. I just look, um, Rob. What's his face telling me about that? Rob's got like a. Maybe like one of his eyebrows sort of raised, his head to one side, going, "Hmm, that boy." That's it. That's all he says. I think I just look at you, move. Another sort of like crash, bang in the the, the back. And, ah, fuck. I presume it goes without saying that I did pick up my um, severed hand before I left. Nope, it's it's already it's there. Somebody stole it. No, yeah, of course, that's fine. I'm just playing it like a harmonica. <laughs> yeah, somebody joined or... in, and uh, they got a washboard and is playing the washboard with the goblin hand. It's a plectrum for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Get your there. goblin picks. Goblin picks here. I think I point to the door and just say, "Do we need to worry about that?" And look at um, Rob. Um, I think maybe um, Rob kind of comes more back to reality and like blinks a bit and goes, um, "Oh God, yes, right." Uh, and then just like kind of charges through to the back. Uh, I follow suit. Yeah, uh, and he he just, I think he just kind of shouts the. Uh, a curse word in gnomish or whatever that is. I don't know. I don't understand anyway. So it's yeah. Your, your um, <laughs> so Emu, you hear him curse, 
uh, as you see that most of the the store is kind of empty uh, and there seems to be like a bunch of people kind of just like moving all the stuff into the back of a wagon uh, and uh, you see kind of like at the the maybe sort of garagey door at the back um, the, the, the boy standing there and he kind of like looks his thingy and he just runs away as he runs away can I um Hmm. Alexander, may I borrow you for a second out of character? <laughs> I like where this conversation's going. <laughs> on a scale of one to I roll an attack roll against him, how are we feeling about this? Against um, Rob. The boy running... No, not Rob. Because it's the boy that's running, right? Yeah, it's the boy that's running away. He was sort of like... Uh... You you walked in. You saw, you know, guys it's loading the things, right? It's as if he's yeah, so that you wouldn't be, um, you'd be forgiven for thinking that that's probably what's going on. Um, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you it's know, he's standing. Yeah. yeah, and he's, he's <laughs> so standing like next to the wagon. And as soon as you open the door, he he saw you and just start to, to run away. Because I can make him fall prone if it lands, but it also might just kill him. <laughs> Um, could um, could one of us make an insight check to make sure that you can run faster than the sun? <laughs> this is true. Just run up and grapple him. You could just run up and just stop him. Yeah, or stunning strike him right with the heart. <laughs> <harm effect. laughs> yeah, you don't even need to just stunning strike. Just do knockout damage, like non-lethal, as it were. Yeah, I think I will, uh, Ibu will run up to him and try to apprehend him. Sure. Do you want to give me a? But I guess are you are you grappling him or? Just remember, don't scream in his mind. Don't scream in his mind because he might kill himself. <laughs> that's on him in that case. Then you know that's how that court exactly. was there. <laughs> Look, I just tell how it is. All right, I don't make the rules. Well, you're a biologist. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. if you just punch, it's just an attack roll, and you can keep attacking, and it's non lethal if you choose it to be, and it's probably more reliable. Yeah. Do you want or to do that then? Whatever you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. Was it just an attack roll? Yeah. With. Um, <laughs> will, it, will it just do like a, an acrobatics? Like, Why? Because my attacks are just a plus six, which is the same. Just, just do your martial arts attack if you're unarmed. Hmm. Yeah, you hit him. I'm so glad. <laughs> That would have been terrifying. <laughs> nope, misses. Um, yeah, you hit him. Roll damage. Do you want to? Do you want to roll damage? No, I. I just want to sort of like make sure he's not running away. Really, I'm trying to stop him from leaving. I mean, okay, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Um. So yeah, he he kind of like, kind of struggles to try and try and get away. Um. But sort of fails, and he, he kind of like half like, you know, maybe like how like a a panicked mouse when it's being played with by a cat, um, kind of flails and, then, um, sort of uh, shakes. He's he's kind of like that. He goes, no, 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 just 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 let you know, let just let me go. You don't you don't need to do, you don't need to do this. It's fine. I'm I'll I'll. I'll what I'll, were you doing here? I was just. Leaving. Yes, you you asked me to leave, and I'm going to leave. That's that's exactly what was what was happening here. <laughs> Can I insight to? Is he also still scared of um, Emu, given their last interactions? Uh, yeah, he definitely seems terrified. Uh, he seems to. Uh, you may you may have noticed that he seems to be talking a lot less um, nervously and more kind of irritated. Um. 
can I is he trying to deceive me like is he yeah do you do you want to do you want to insight that I mean actually you know you probably you probably don't need to uh <laughs> He yeah, like that. it's definitely <laughs> it's very obvious that that's he wasn't like just leaving um it's very obvious this is the scene of the crime as it were i think you will be coming with me uh no 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 no, no. I, I don't i don't want to be coming with anyone actually i would rather i would rather just um you know just just live, live somewhere else i'll just i'll move i'll i'll check i'll do, do do anything just just let just let me go please please Ma'am. Ask him why. You hear on the wind. I just want to drag him um, to, um, to Tilda and Rod. Okay. Uh, how how are you dragging him out of out of interest? Um, I quickly kick the legs from under him and just drag him. Like, Imagine that's maybe what the attack roll was then. Like she runs up and like just leg sweeps him. Yeah. Cool. Um. I guess you, yeah, you you drag him over, and um, you know you, you kind of reach as, as we when we get there. Uh, sorry, what was that? Just like so, when when we reach Emu, um, uh, sorry, when we reach Tilda, I've I've still got my hand on him. Like, uh -huh. I'm not letting. That's fine. Um. So yep, yeah, and you kind of present this this boy to, to to Tilda, and um, I guess Rob Bowers as well. This man, Monsieur Bowers. This boy. Yes, he was uh, sent to me to help. I can By see. Him. Yeah, he had a letter from my brother. It was definitely authentic. It had his seal and his signature. It uh, unmistakable. And then I think he would maybe, um you know, pull out the, or like pull out a piece of like, um, maybe like there's a thing on the wall that has um like a bunch of like notes and stuff and it's got like a bunch of things with uh, Todd's signature on it and it looks, I, and he shows you and it's like, see he's got a very unique signature and it's a very, maybe you noticed it off your own contract. Yeah, it, so can I just compare it with my... Uh... Yeah. Uh, and this the seal is obviously you know like um the was there something else in this room like there were two people carrying um the crate onto the thingy um well but, like as soon as people like um as soon as like you know the, the the boy got taken out they they just like walked away they were kind of like maybe at the other like to the right of the warehouse type part um maybe like slightly the... out of sight but the cart is still there? The cart is still there, yes. I'll just do a once over then, just generically, like while they're talking between the two of them and like comparing notes, I'll uh, just see if I notice anything missing from the uh, cargo. Um so yeah, uh, there is quite a quite a bit missing. Um almost as if this place has been being emptied for for like a good few hours. Um Okay. This is the carts we brought. Um, so there's like some of them are the carts you brought, and some of them uh, are just like other carts as well. There's like everything's being. Um, Boy, Boy. Have you been here? Uh, sorry, what was that, Alexander? Uh, Emu would just like to ask directly to the boy how long he's uh, been here. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know why he spoke like that. Sorry, no, I mean, uh, like, uh. <laughs> You know, like three, four days. Three, four, four. You know, like maybe, maybe a, a, a weak amount of time, you know. And it's, you know, when you're doing the same thing every day, it's hard to, to keep track of when, when you are. <laughs> when did you last see Monsieur Powers? Oh, when he, he, he left. Uh, How many days? When he left. Three days ago, I did say before. Please don't hurt me, Miss. Out of character. Yeah, I was just wanting to make sure he he 
he made he said the same thing as Okay, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um and I think I think maybe he would uh kind of look pleadingly at uh, Mr. Powers. Um and then over at Tilda as well. As if please get this crazed monk lady off me. I think I just look at uh, Rob and my smile kind of falls away and I say it does seem this has complicated matters ever so slightly wouldn't you say, Rob? Hmm. I think I need to visit my brother. And I think he raises his hand to kind of hit the hit the boy um, but then doesn't uh, and just kind of turns and punches the wall. <laughs> And uh, kind of shakes his hand because the wall is pretty hard. It's made of stone. Um, mm. He goes, ah, fuck, I'm just... Uh, I think what? my gnomish is getting better. I don't think he's pleased, Emu. <laughs> I think he kind of, like, um, takes a step back, opens, uh, well, goes back through to the reception part and kind of sits down in the, the chair there and kind of cradles his hand and like brings his hands up to his head. I just um, look at uh, Emu very like briefly and then I'll just follow through and just close the door and be in the reception area with Rob. Yeah. So I now left with the kid. Oh yes. <laughs> um... There was a deliberate look as well. What that look may have uh, conveyed. <laughs> who knows? But there was definitely a look. Okay, dokie. Let me. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think the boy mm. attempts to to kick you, Emu. Um. But he just seems to kind of be flailing from the leg. Is, is he flailing in a manner that a like a twelve-year-old boy would? As in, like you know, like it, it, he'd be trying like to kick out in the same sort of way that if you held someone by the head and they were swinging their arms like a helicopter to try and punch you. Um, so it doesn't look trained. He he doesn't look particularly trained uh, from his from his and boot. It's not like someone trying to inhabit a body that is not familiar to it. Yeah, it does not look like someone's just gone and possessed this boy to try and yeah. uh, to beat you down. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wish I'd thought of that and He's <laughs> <laughs> are in the church. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sorry, we're gonna have to go back two sessions and uh while this happens, um, the people in the tavern... Uh, oh, I suppose, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll jump to them first. Uh, people in the tavern, uh, being Peter, uh, Gorm, and Dig Dog Leo, what are you up to? Well, after my uh, bust of robbing someone, I'm just going to go to the bar to feed it and... get a drink or something. Actually, is there any way I can charm a drink out of the, uh, the bartender? I'm going to try and charm a drink out of the bartender. Yep. Ah, fucking mouthful. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a placeholder on that, and I'll come back to you in a second. Uh, Good idea. <laughs> um, so, Peter and Gorm. Is there any way I can charm a drink out of the bartender? Uh, do you want to charm a drink from the bartender? Um, we can put a placeholder on that, and I'll come back to you. <laughs> um, Peter. Please, don't do is this there me, please. any way that I can charm a drink? No. Uh, could I try and persuade the bartender to give us a drink for our performance? I think I have it as a racial trait or something like that. Uh, by um, popular demand. I have that too. We could double team in. Yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> so instead of uh, having a place to stay and a drink, just a drink for all three of us. But now who's more popular? Oh, we God. can roll. Roll popularity. Um, okay. I think based on performance, I think Peter's definitely getting more attention than uh, Gorm. Based on performance, I. Yes. Yeah. 
Red button not shot. Cat like racism. Charisma. As we walk up to the bar. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll start with. Because you can receive a lot of attention on a dance floor in the bar, and then you go to the bartender, and she's like, fuck off. And you're just like, ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we'll start with the Doglio, who's Speaking trying to charm experience. free drinks, right? Yes. No, not really. <laughs> so, Dig Dog, talk me through this. Well, I'm. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna flop down at the bar and look somewhat defeated, and hopefully that's going to get the attention of the <laughs> barmaid. Is it a barman or a barmaid? Uh, there's yes. So there is, and there is. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to flop down and hopefully get the attention of the barmaid. What's flopping down, sorry? Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, like, well, they'll say just uh, on your side, like, there's there's a barmaid kind of like, there's like three bar staff maybe because it got quite busy during the, the mad performance uh, and uh, you kind of like sink into a kind of like, oh, do you want, uh, do you want to give me like a performance um, just to see like how, oh. how, um, how defeated and how uh, mopey you look. Sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have that for a for for a half orc. You have that. Um... Wow. What do you mean for a half orc? <laughs> look, and these human parts—they're not used to this exotic um, clientele. So um, the the barmaid kind of looks over and sees that you're kind of slumped in a sort of miserable thing, but she also thinks, "Oh man." Kind of like a wee cute side that I'd never thought I'd see in a in a foreign man. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> and uh, kind of walks over and goes, "What can I get you, honey?" Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I said, uh, "That depends what you're willing to make me." No, no, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, because she'll, she'll uh, I think she uh, just looks at you and says, you look like you need something strong. Ooh, uh, I don't know how bold I'm feeling, but I'm going to say, uh, yeah, you could say that. And you look like you're a strong man. <laughs> um, Do you want to, I was going to say roll charm, but you can't roll charm. Um, <laughs> Persuasion? <laughs> just on the back of what he just said, I'm sorry, but Olvex already left. <laughs> um, yeah, give me, give me persuasion. Why not? Okay, okay. What? She looks at you, kind of like, uh, all right, uh, and then just like grabs a bottle off the shelf. Uh, pours it into like what you what you would deem to be a pitiful tiny glass, oh. and slams it on the table, and just looks at you and says, "On the house," and just walks away and starts dealing with other people. Ah, f well, that went okay at the start. I mean, you got your free drink. I got my free drink. I didn't get much free drink. Uh, I think maybe at that point, maybe as she like slams that down, that's when um, Gorm and uh, and Peter get to the bar. Here we go, take two! <laughs> I, I, I presume we're both very charismatic and persuasive, but shall we roll to see who is more? If you want yes. to. If you want to have this battle, go for it. I mean, you will get your free <laughs> drinks purely because you, you provided the bar with a lot of money. You don't know so that. Maybe so you're just very charismatic. No? Unless you come no. up, come out as an asshole, like, demanding yeah. free drinks, yeah. <laughs> Wait, are we doing thing. a save? We're going, we're we're going for pers per, 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 perforations, persuasion, perforations, persuasions, persuasions. Yeah. Perforations not a thing. It's just a word that came out of my mouth until I got there. Oh boy! Oh fuck off! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think like you don't even need to like as you kind of like step down from like the little stage part, like the the like two of the bar staff like see you like, um. Like the guy and the the other girl in the middle, um, just see you like come off, and they both just go oh, uh, and they start like to pour you drinks straight away, uh, and by the time you get to the bar, the drinks are already on the table, and they both say in unison, "On the house, lads," and then one of them looks arguing. at you, um, going, 
w lady, lad, la lady, I'm, I'm unsure. Cat, man, do. Um, whatever you want it to be. I, I think, I think maybe that maybe Sugar. the girl blushes. <laughs> And plays with her hair going, hmm. Never thought I was a cat person. Yeah. Ovek! Yeah. You step out, while all this goes on, you step outside with um, Tokshar, and Tokshar starts kind of walking. Uh, he kind of goes left and starts just walking down, down the street. So that's past the other building, right? Yeah, so if... Um, okay. Yeah. It's kind of just like oh. walks past, but he does start to walk past the building, as opposed yep. to going into it. And if... Okay, I'll follow him. As he gets to, like, let's say, the end of the building, obviously behind that building is the hooligans trying to steal some carts, right? Uh, yes. Would I be able to notice anything? Or uh... Yeah. Um. Would Would you say that Ovek was taking in his like surroundings as he like walked out, or is he just focused I on? I think Tokshar? at this point in this town, Ovek's very dubious, very, very cautious of everything sure. that's going on. Cool. Um. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you roll because they're not particularly stealthy. These boys. Um. It was just whether or not you'd have been distracted enough by Talk Jar to make you roll. But uh. Sure. Yeah. You kind of like look down the alley and you you maybe see um. A cart like pull off, um, and it seems to be heading like the opposite direction to the to the gate that you came in. Um, do I see my cart and my horse? Uh, you do not. Um, down that way, but you see like loads of people shouting, and then maybe you hear like a uh, a scuffle, and then like a, a wee cry out from a wee wee boy going, "No, no, no! I'll just that, 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 that. um." So my cart is not where I left it. Your cart is not where you left it, no. Fucking dicks. Um. <laughs> Christ. Okay. What's Tok doing at this point? He's just like walking forwards. Walking, just sort of away from. Yeah. This so alleyway, like, if you're looking down the alley, he's continuing along forward. So if the alley's to your left, he's he just carries on. Okay. Can I ask him where are you headed? Just uh, stretching my legs and taking in the sights. A bird kind of tweets and flies, like lands on his finger, sings at him and flies away. You okay, had mentioned um, as well. My uh, cart is seems to be missing, and I can see some some people making away with another. Oh. I feel like I should be uh, pursuing this. If you'd care to join me, I think he. I think he. He kind of takes a, a like a, a second to, and you know, kind of thinks about it, and like nods his head side to side and goes, "Ah, why not? Why not? Indeed." How fast can you run? <laughs> I'm. Sure you don't need to worry about that. A nod and then I sprint down the alleyway after these guys in the cart. Yeah, cool. Um, he kind of sprints after you uh, nice. and uh, starts to overtake you. Okay. Uh, and then yeah. he looks at you and just points and goes, That cart! I nod. Uh, it is pointing at the right one. He's pointing at the one that's leaving. That's clearly like looking like it's being stolen kind of thing, yeah? Yeah. Hack. Um, as, you, as you kind of like run past, you see that... Like, um, there's like a couple, like a, a bunch of guys kind of running away in like the opposite direction again to like the left down like the back of the thing and like running away as if something happened. Okay. But um... Can I say to him get the car I'll get these guys? Because I think yeah. I trust him to be perfectly capable of doing that. Yeah, that's and fine. And then I um... turn and follow those guys. Cool. Uh, do you want to give me uh, an athletics Um, I just meant in general, by the way. Oh yeah, no, you're fine. Cool. Because I mute it, but it keeps flashing green like I'm speaking. Athletics, goddammit. Oh no, that's acrobatics. That's acrobatics. Uh, I thought it was bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think uh, it's it's not easy, but you do. You chase down these, like, these t maybe two of them. Um, mm -hmm. Like, they, they there's like four of them, and they run off 
down that way and then like two split off and run the other way and you like catch up with two and maybe um maybe you cut them off and stand in front of them and they kind of stop in their tracks um and i'm just gonna slam a warhammer into the ground and roar in their faces and try to intimidate them do you want to give me an intimidation then if that's what Hell you're trying yeah. to do yeah and okay. um, both guys just kind of stop in their tracks and like uh they're just stunned um, they don't even like scream or anything. They're just like absolutely like. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I want to step towards them so my arms reach so I could grab them if they try and turn and run. Cool. And then I'll say, "So where do you think you're going?" We're um, home. And the other one goes, "Yeah, yeah, home." Where's my cart? Uh, uh, like a cart? Cart? What cart? Well, no, we didn't see no no cart here, buddy. Can I grab them by the, like the scruff of their necks, like their clothes at the scruff of their necks? Okay, cool. Uh, are you putting? Are you like let go? Letting go of your warhammer, I'll or are you putting it away? And then grab them. Okay. Um. Yeah, you grab them by the scruff of their necks. Uh. And you know what? Yeah, you can probably pick them up. They don't look particularly. Yeah. Good. And then I'll say, I suggest if you want to see tomorrow. Better start talking. Um, I mean, uh, wait, wait, which which cart's yours, the pal? I left it with a nice little horse and a few scimitars and a chain vest in the back. Uh, and one of them goes, oh, a lot of, lot of, lot of carts, and goes, uh, uh, yeah, there's, I there's a lot of carts. I think you'd notice some weapons in a cart. Uh, no, I don't know. We, we don't, um, uh, and then, um, but one of them, like, just goes, oh, just, uh, are you gonna, well, what's it, what's it to you, mister, sir, man? What's it to me? Well, to you, it's your life. Ah, uh, man, I don't think he's joking, man. I don't know, I don't think he's joking either. Um, uh, tell, I might have, might have, might have seen a, seen a, seen a scimitar cart. Somewhere, uh, might have done. Uh, might not have, might not even have left yet. I mean, uh, put us down, and maybe, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can take you. Yeah, maybe we can take I you. Put them down. I pick up my warhammer, flip it in my hand with ease, and catch it if I can. Now, do um, you do that with ease? I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to, and then I want to say, show me. <laughs> so, what am I rolling? Acrobatics or? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. Oh, <laughs> smashing! Yeah, that that looks, and they're like, I think maybe like if they had any sort of like defiance in their eyes when you put them down, that defiance is gone, yeah, and they just and go. Just say, show me. And one of them just goes, yeah, yeah, right th this way. And you're like, yeah, this way, and um, they lead yeah, you sort probably. of back to the to the back of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Um, and the cart that's like loaded. Like in the bay, you know, you. I think you'd recognize your horse, mm. um, because you did spend like a decent amount of time with it on the road, uh, and it's your horse that's in the uh, at the okay. the thingy being loaded up or had been loaded up before everyone bolted. Um, okay. as you kind of like maybe they kind of lead you like inside to show you the weapons and stuff. Um, mm. does Emu want to tell me what Ovek sees? Oh, or just walks into it. Yeah. <laughs> Witnesses. Um I think at at this stage she's she's still holding you know like she's still just holding the, the kid um and speaking to him. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how much of it would be able to hear. That's fine. Um I think maybe you you would see like just basically that, and uh, we'll I guess we'll we'll go and have that conversation, uh, Emu. What's? I think uh, when um, Tilda closed the door, um, Emu would just sigh and say, <sighs> "My Jürgen, I think you and I need to have a conversation." Have you turned from French to German? <laughs> I have all. 
European. <laughs> I think you should know that I do not enjoy staying in these cities and built up towns. If there's too many people that I have to see, I just, it, it makes me unhappy. And when there are people that uh, disappoint me and tell me one thing while another thing happens, I guess I would probably pull out the, um, uh, the, the goblin hand. <laughs> Slap him with it. No, I, I would just like hold it in my, my other hand for a moment. And... Make him eat it. <laughs> Stroke it here with it. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. And put it back and say, Sorry, I'm sure you do not wish me to tarry here any longer than I have to. Is that correct? I mean, you, you, you got it. I don't need the. So I think you will answer these questions that I put to you truthfully. And if I have to ask you a second time, you will understand that this will make me displeased. I think he just kind of, um, I don't even, like, I was going to say he nods, but I don't think he even nods. He just kind of, like, gives you, like, a look as in to continue, um, as if, like, acknowledging what you said. Now, where were you actually going to be taking the items and from these carts? Oh, um, funny, funny story that, huh? Um, yeah, just, uh, places, here, there, everywhere. Cut off his hand. It's um, he really sighs and um, looks straight at him. Um, do you want to... Uh, nah, yeah, I think he, he would just look at you and go, <clears throat> well, well, what I mean is, uh, you know, there's a couple heading to to um, to Marchton, there was a couple heading uh, heading out east, and, uh, um, there was, you know, we we're going to... We we're just going to dump sums up at the 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 old ruins there and just see what we could keep, you know. And whose idea was this? Ah, well, that's that's. Uh, um, I I don't know if I can uh, say. Man. I assure you, you can. Uh, and I think. Um, his eyes would sort of darken uh, as he kind of like just looked at you with a kind of like blank expression and he says no ma'am I really think I can't uh, and as as that happens he starts to convulse in your hands um, and like foam starts coming out of his mouth um, punch him healthy <laughs> I would probably call out um, and probably shout out, Tilda, Tilda. I am there like I never left, but had left, but I came back. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you see this uh, this this boy um, basically, like, um, convulsing and, like, foaming and kind of going limp and stiff and bleh. Not even yet. So, obviously, I am bound by understanding what's happening by the rules of the game, right? So, when he is in the death saving throw as part of this, I want to use Spirit of Dying on him. Yeah. So he doesn't die and is indeed just unconscious for like 1d4 hours. Go for it. Do you want to paste that in the doobly-doo? Uh, no, but I will. Um... Or yeah, you can could. do it privately if you want. I don't know. No, I really don't. <laughs> Just because I had to lean over to get my mouse. That was. Oh awesome. right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you wanting to roll your one d four hours or? Eh, uh, sure, I'll do that. Seeing as you're casting like, it. Yeah. And seeing he's showing, you know, 
no real wish to. Yeah, cool. Cool. Could I be anywhere near this? Yep, yeah, you see this unfold. Maybe, maybe um, he starts convulsing as you like walk in and see this, um, and then Tilda like runs out and does the thing. Tell these guys to stand against the wall and don't move. I would very much like it if you could walk in just after that had been cast. Yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. Um, because for Emu's benefit, you see like Tilda run up, just look at Emu, like like a once over as if did you do this? Look. Um, but obviously there's there's no necessarily like hesitation or waiting for an answer. There's just as quick as I can, very elven steps to him, and then like hand goes on like the forehead, and you see like if you're looking at her, you see her eyes go from the amber color that she's got to the green, the very vivid green, as she touches the forehead. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, had not even hit me yet. And then after I finish muttering whatever nonsense I mutter, um, he then obviously is left to the ground, I guess, like unconscious. Yeah. And I just look up at you and I say, like you see the eyes fade back to amber. And I say, then what caused this, I wonder? But I say it in a, you know, let's solve the mystery, not how dare you, you know. Yeah. Talk. Um, and then maybe there's the, noise of them is there a door that opens that signifies him walking in or is it like no a... it was the, the the kind of warehouse door thing at the back which was already open for them loading oh. the the Perfect. the wagons so he's i guess uh of it kind of just comes in stands there and walk, maybe walk into my view i guess yeah yeah and i just look up at you and smile and say of and then you say what was it you were gonna say get up against the wall uh, yeah i just tell him to get up against the wall and say stay there and then uh, to Tilda, I will say, um, found these two making a run for it. Oh, good. And I look down at the unconscious, like, foam still, like, popping away down his cheek or something. And then I look up at a emu and say, perhaps you should question them as well. And then look at them as if implying what will happen to them based on their friend who's on the ground. Like, still breathing. Yeah, I think there is much that we have to learn. Then we both menacingly walk towards the camera as if it's but I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take, we'll take five minutes there. Okay, so um, we do menacingly walk towards the camera. We do menacingly back. walk towards the camera. <laughs> just because like, you said that, I was like, do you know what? Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, we'll take five there, and we shall return uh, later. Uh, goodbye.